All right, so now we're looking at another question. We're solving for the number of time periods. And what we're doing here is that we're saying we have 150.34 is going to turn into $330. This is a problem taken directly off of Harpa.com, right? We have 150.34, it's going to turn into 334, and we have a 14% interest rate. And so the question here is, how long will that actually take? Okay, so what we know here is that this 150.34 is our present value, this 330 is our future value, this interest rate right here, that's going to be I over Y. And we know that since we're just putting in a, a value into an account now and waiting to see what it's going to be worth in a few years, is that we're not going to have any payments here. So our payment is going to be zero. Okay? So with that being said, is that we have everything already put in here, and we're trying to solve for T. Okay? So the one way that we can do it, right, is that we can set this up with our basic uh, time value money formula, right, 150.34 is equal to 330 divided by 1.14 to the t power, and then we can use natural logs and solve for t. Now, that does take a little bit of time because we have to set it up algebraically, we have to multiply it across, divide both sides, take the natural logs, and, and it's, it's effective, but it's not as quick as, as using these time value money buttons, okay? So we have all this stuff in here, right? We know that payment is zero because we don't have recurring payments. All right, so we're going to start plugging this stuff in. So we have uh, basically 330 three, three, three is our future value, right? So we hit 330, and then we're going to hit that future value button. And then we know we're going to have zero is going to be the payment, right? And then we have uh, present value, right, is 150.34. And what do we have to do with that? We have to enter that as a negative, right? Otherwise, it's going to show us up as an error, right? So we enter that as a negative and we hit present value, okay? And then we know we have a 14% interest rate, so it's 14, that's the I over Y. And then we're solving for N, the number of time periods, so we're gonna hit compute N, right? Because that's what we're solving for. And that's gonna tell us that T is equal to six years. And so that's how we, we're solving for the number of time periods. It's a little bit quicker, a little bit easier than, than actually solving and doing the algebra to, to find that key.